In the ensuing days, the relentless onslaught of cholera incapacitated almost the entire Birai's army. The once mighty soldiers, renowned for their bravery and resilience, now lay bedridden, their bodies ravaged by the merciless disease. Doctors, overwhelmed and fatigued, toiled incessantly under the immense pressure of the epidemic, their efforts stretched to the breaking point as they struggled to save as many lives as possible, Birais found itself in a dire shortage of medical professionals to combat the widespread disease. The few doctors and nurses left standing worked tirelessly, their hands trembling with exhaustion as they administered treatment to the ever-increasing number of patients. The hospitals overflowed with the sick and the dying, their moans of agony echoing through the corridors, a haunting symphony of despair. Amidst the chaos and tragedy, there were moments of heartbreak and loss that pierced the soul. A doctor, overwhelmed by the sheer magnitude of suffering around him, succumbed to the weight of despair, taking his own life in a moment of unbearable anguish. His death served as a stark reminder of the toll that war exacts not only on the body but on the mind and spirit as well. General Blura, witnessing the devastation and despair among his soldiers, harbored a profound sadness in his heart. He had led these men into battle with the promise of victory and glory, only to see them struck down by a silent and invisible enemy. The once proud and defiant army of Birais now lay broken and defeated, their spirits crushed by the merciless grip of disease. As he surveyed the grim reality unfolding before him, Blura glimpsed the imminent defeat and impending destruction of Birais. The enemy had not only breached their defenses but had also dealt a devastating blow to their morale and resolve. For the first time since the war began, Blura found himself grappling with a profound sense of helplessness, unsure of how to stem the tide of despair that threatened to engulf his people, on the opposing front, Ruta reveled in the success of his covert strategy. The plan to introduce the S to rabbits injected with estroxin had exceeded his wildest expectations, resulting in a widespread outbreak of cholera that had decimated the Birai's army. With their ranks depleted and their morale shattered, the Birai soldiers were now easy prey for the advancing guerrillist forces, ordering the guerrillist army to launch a vigorous assault, Ruta watched with satisfaction as they penetrated deep into Birai's weakened defenses. The once formidable city of Kazan now lay vulnerable before them, its streets echoing with the sounds of gunfire and explosions as the two sides clashed in a desperate struggle for survival. General Blura, faced with the grim reality of impending defeat, declared a steadfast defense, vowing to fight to the death to protect his homeland. Despite the overwhelming odds stacked against them, the soldiers of Birais refused to surrender, their heroism and unwavering determination manifesting in an increased deployment of mines throughout the capital Kazan. The number of mines tripled, as Birais aimed to leave their city in ruins, ensuring that the enemy would have nothing to gain upon victory. They chose a path of no retreat, embracing death as a testament to their heroic sacrifice and unwavering loyalty to their nation. Two contrasting states unfolded on either side of the front line, one marked by the anticipation of victory and triumph, the other weighed down by the agony of impending failure and defeat. Such is the harsh reality in nature of war, where the line between life and death, victory and defeat, is often blurred and uncertain. And amidst the chaos and devastation, the true cost of conflict is revealed in the shattered lives and broken dreams of those caught in its merciless grip.